direction of the meeting to its members for their decision. He, however, advised that industrial actions should not be allowed to linger in the interest of all parties and especially the students. Also in Abuja, President Muhammad Buhari earlier today inaugurated the Tinubu Shatima Women Presidential Campaign Council. Their charge is simple, governor support for the All Progressives Congress in 2023 general election. Nigeria's First Lady Asha Buhari asked their party leadership to sign a compact with Nigerian women that will spell out the good policies of the party towards women. Senior correspondent Adidoja Salam Adeni was at the presidential villa in Abuja, venue of the event. They have come from across the 36 states of the federation, including the federal capital territory. They are here to rally behind their presidential standard bearer, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and his running mate, Kashim Shetima. These women are so determined in delivering victory to the All Progressives Congress in the forthcoming general election. They said they cannot afford to lose, but work together as a formidable force to achieve success in 2023. The national gender policy has formulated the 35% affirmative action since 2006. It demands that 35% of women be involved in all governance process. This has, however, never been fully actualized in Nigeria. The Nigeria's first lady and the grand patron of the Tinubu Shetima presidential women team, Aisha Buhari, and the chairman of the team, Senator Oluremi Tinubu, have been fighting for the cause of women and have been at the forefront of the 35% affirmative action. Now, with the Tinubu Shetima ticket, this gender equality policy is expected to get more attention. Permit me to voice out our concern for the progressive decline in the involvement and participation of women in elective and appointive positions at all the three tiers of government. Our clamor and cries over the years has remained unattended to, especially at the level of legislative arms of government. We have no option than to sign a compact with Nigerian women that will spell out the good policies of the party towards women for documentation and follow-up purposes. Let us tell our women that the Tinubu Shetima ticket is the best option for them because the track records of both men show that they are gender sensitive and committed to uplifting the Nigerian woman. With these two men at the helm of affairs, Nigerian women can rest assured that their interests will be protected and their rights safeguarded. Not only that, you can also count on Ajia Nana Shetima and I as your partners for progress. For the city boy, the long-awaited Nigeria's dream has come. The new hope is here. Hope of a better economy, constant electricity, and impregnable security of lives and property, among others. Let me just fear of a little bit and give solace, pray to God Almighty to console those who suffer some disasters across the country in flooding, those who might have lost their lives, and many of them that are the hospital. To you, the people, and particularly the women gathered here today, let me say one thing. Hope is here. Hope is here. Assurance is here. Promise is here. Prosperity is here. 
Health is here. Security is here. Bantry tree has ended. Tell them you are following the man who knows the way. Representing President Mohamedou Buhari, the Chief of Staff to the President, Ibrahim Gambari, who inaugurated the team, says no doubt that level playing field will be provided for the women. Tinumbu Shetima ticket is a project these women will follow through. He said it's a victory they have already won. Staying with politics, Delta State Governor Ifanyo Koa says the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, has the ability to address the myriad of challenges currently affecting the country if voted into office. The governor gave this assurance while addressing a large crowd of supporters and other party leaders at the PDP presidential campaign flag off in Uyo, Akwaibom State Capital. Iken Namichi reports. The Nest of Champions Stadium in Uyo is the venue for the presidential campaign flag off of the opposition People's Democratic Party ahead of the 2023 general election. Leaders of the party are here in Akwaibom State to woo Nigerians to vote for the PDP with a promise to turn around the fortunes of the nation. Today, we have inaugurated flagged off our campaign to rescue Nigeria, to rescue Nigeria from hunger, to rescue Nigeria from poverty, and also to bring back the unity that we require in this country. The PDP is the only party in today's Nigeria that is indeed ready to take over power. And so today, what a flag of the hope for Nigerians. What a flag of the rescue mission to Nigerians. What a flag of the restoration move to Nigerians. The Delta State Governor, who is also the Vice Presidential Candidate, wants Nigerians to vote for Atiku Abubakar because he possesses the right qualities to salvage the country at this trying time. We know that Atiku Abubakar is a general, a general well-tested, as somebody we know, we cannot afford to allow lieutenants lead because they will lead us to doom. PDP have ruled this country before. And when they ruled this country, they did very well. APC came with their lies. And today, the country has failed. You can see that insecurity, economy has collapsed. And we need to rescue this country. But we're saying the leadership of the administration, of the economy, of Nigeria as president has failed us. They are not only weak, they are ignorant. The next stop for the PDP campaign is Yobe State as they continue to tell Nigerians to trust them again with their votes come February next year. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Uyo.